bought my wife a long time ago a light pole for her birthday. She's always wanted one. And I'm gonna show you how to change it to white. It's now been oxidized, been up here for probably about four years now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint it, make it white. To pulling the grass away from the base because you don't want to be painting up against the grass. I take some sandpaper and just kind of give it a, a quick sanding just to get some of that oxidation off there so the paint has a better chance of sticking. You don't get to do it every year. This is one of those uh, steps that really don't take that long, but people always skip. And then they wonder why the paint jobs fail in six months. Sandpaper works better than a wire brush, but a wire brush works better than not. So if you don't have sandpaper, you don't have to use a pad, you use regular sandpaper, just fold it up and, and do it. If you don't have sandpaper, then use a wire brush. And you still may want to use the wire brush around some of these areas that are hard to get sandpaper in. This piece of paper is easy because it's got a groove in it, it's foam, and it gets into all these weird spots fairly easy. But all together, this whole sanding is going to be less than probably about three or four minutes. And then you don't really have to. You could just take a, 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 rag, a rag and kind of wipe the dust off. But since I'm going to be going to lunch and I'm not in a hurry, I'm going to do the easy way. Take a garden hose and just hose it off. When you get back from lunch, it's time to start painting. If your gallon of paint is full, you probably ought to stir it up. But if it's less than half full, you can go ahead and shake it. Shaking works just as well. It's always recommended that you wet your brush before you use it. If you're using a water base, I just shake it in the water and then knock it dry on my, my shoe. There's no paint in it, so it's just water, so it doesn't take very long and it makes it a lot easier to clean your brush later on. You don't really need to prime it, but I recommend it. Uh, I'm using a, a water-based primer, easier to work with. It's just like one coat of paint. This is white and my uh, pole is going to be white, so it's a no-brainer. You should prime whenever you can. In this case, I can, so I'm going to. Because I'm working over the grass, I don't really feel I need to use a drop cloth, but sometimes you might want to anyway. Even though I didn't, it's better to work in the shade. Uh, the metal it doesn't get as hot, it doesn't dry as fast. You get better strokes when you cross. Like some parts I was brushing sideways, and some parts I was brushing up and down. It gives it, blends it in better there. Yesterday I failed to mention a couple things. One is uh, when you shake the can, the lid does get covered with paint. So if you're going to shake the can, it's better to let the can sit a few minutes 
so it drips off. Other than that, stirring is a lot neater. And this is uh, the second day. I, I could have painted it all, you know, like maybe a half hour apart or 45 minutes apart. Today I'm gonna to be using uh, Richard's uh, Signature Series. It's a satin uh, latex paint, which means water-based. Um, I got lucky, I'm pretty much in the shade right now. A little bit of sun near the top. And now it's behind a cloud, but it's coming back out. Here it is. But uh, it should only take me a couple minutes, so not a big deal. Well, that's it for the first top coat. I plan on putting another one on about a half hour or probably about an hour from now I'll go ahead and start the second coat. Because I'm going to be using this brush in a few more, well, in an hour, I'm not going to go ahead and bother cleaning it. I'm just going to let it soak in the water for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and paint this black, this white, this yellow, yellow, green, yellow, white. Anyway, I'm gonna two-tone color it. So I'm gonna go and do the white now. Whatever's gonna be white, I'm gonna paint white. So everything white will have two coats and then I'll go ahead and start the other colors. There's a good chance I'm going to come back and paint this black. Um, I'm just going to see how it looks green. Sometimes it's not worth the trouble to stir it up with a stick and if the can is too full you really can't shake it very well without a machine, go to the drill mixer. So you kind of have a good battery. <laughs> Really not a good brush for this. It's a change of plan. My wife didn't like the green I had on here, so I put a coat of yellow on top of the light green. I mixed a little black in the green at the bottom, only because of the grass and stuff's going to be going up against it. She actually preferred I left it black, um, but she didn't tell me that. So anyway. Putting the second coat of yellow over the green. 